it says it's 14 degrees and to me that felt like it was balmy so that <laughs> that is a testament to how cold it has been good morning i feel weird doing a vlog and it's not vlogmas anymore I kind of miss vlogging every day. That was really fun for a while. But anyway, good morning. It's about 10 o'clock, even though my camera will probably say something different. Um, and I'm just, it's January 2nd. And uh, yesterday was the last pajama day. I've been just really hardcore chilling over the last like week <laughs> and a day. Actually, let's sit down. Um, thank you guys for letting me take a week break just I just had to recharge my batteries um, I sat around in my pajamas basically like most of the time and played the Sims and watched documentaries on YouTube we watched like some not documentaries on YouTube we watched documentaries on TV which were really interesting we watched one um, that was called like mommy dead and dearest so if you're if you're like kind of into like some creepy like darker documentaries that's one to watch. It's about like Munchausen by proxy syndrome. I'm not going to go into it, but it was it was very interesting. Then we watched another that was called The Imposter, which was super interesting. Um, it was on Netflix, so you can watch that one if you have Netflix. Um, the other one was on HBO. Um, so if you guys like those kind of documentaries, like the, the Jinx. Did anyone watch the Jinx? We were like obsessed with the Jinx. Um, it was so good. Um, and so we just chilled. We chilled. We ate lots of like bad junk food um and we just relaxed it is very cold here on the east coast uh, here in boston there have been talks of moving because of how bad the winter is right now it's been um highs of like 11 and 12 so let's see how cold it is this morning because i'm about to take clover to the dog park so let's see what the dealio is by the way here he is good morning He's a little bit upset because he's bored this morning, but I'm going to take you out in a few minutes and you're going to have fun. Well, let's see what the weather is first. Five. Five. Five degrees. I'm not super excited to go to the dog park when it's five degrees. Um, he doesn't care. I thought he would be like super cold and stuff, but he, he does not care. <laughs> anyway, um, Five degrees. I'm not sure if I really want to go out in five degrees, but I think I will. Um, because the last time I was out, it was six, so it's pretty sunny right now, and apparently there's a snowstorm coming, so I want to beat that. And plus, I have to film today, so let's see what the forecast says. Okay, first of all, we have conflicting reports. It says it's nine, so that's a thing. And apparently, there's a winter storm watch in effect from late. Wait, from late Wednesday night through late Thursday, it's all, it's Tuesday. So it's gonna be all set today. All right, well, you know, Wednesday night, that's actually a problem for me because I have rehearsal on Wednesday night. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway, since it's actually nine degrees, that sounds, that's more reasonable. And you know what, that sounds like insane. For those of you who don't live in the, on the East Coast and on the New England, that sounds like insanely cold. It is, it's insanely cold. Um, but we gotta go out and have our, our dog walk. So let's get ready to go. wearing this hat. My husband brought this back for me from a conference. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's supposed to like go like this. Oh, that's so cute. It's a, it's a bear. It's a dog. I don't know. Either way, I'm probably too old to be wearing it, but you know, you got one life to live and looking actually, I have my camera on the, like the console thing from Ikea and looking at it, like on this angle, I can see there's like a, basically an inch layer of dust on it. So that's how long we've been gone. 
that's how long it's been since I've done any cleaning in here. So um, that's gross. So I'm gonna take care of that when I get back. I'm getting really hot right now because I have on a freaking ski suit. And by the way, this is a children's size. It's like children's actual large. And I think I should have had the large, but I don't think they had it. They didn't want to get a weird color. Um, coffee's done. And um, I am going to, the floor is disgusting. Let me show you the floor. So the challenge of having a dark colored floor and like salty sidewalks, it's like it gets like disgusting, gross everywhere. <laughs> So we're gonna set them up and we are going to uh, clean clean it up. Ugh. And Clobean is all ready to go. He's just like waiting for me. He's like, come on mom, let's go, let's go. So we are back. He had so much fun. We were out there for two hours. Come here, little buddy. I gotta take your boots off. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know, just in case you were interested in these boots, um, these are from the brand My Busy Dog, and they are the best. They have two strips of Velcro on them, and they stay on really well. They keep his feet nice and warm. They have like little, like actual like treads on the bottom, you can see, and they keep his feet from getting on with the salt and uh, stuff on the sidewalk. There he goes. He's going. <laughs> All right, let me get you undressed. And, and that way, um, I also keep uh, our floors clean, so I just take the boots off outside of our apartment, and then he uh, has nice clean feet to come in. something it says it's 14 degrees and to me that felt like it was balmy so that <laughs> that is a testament to how cold it has been it's been like I was out there and I was talking to other some other uh, dog parents out there they're like oh this is great this is warm we're, we're great so that's how sad it is uh, yeah I, I gotta move the floors are nice and clean too. Uh, Brava did a pretty good job. So I'm going to put her back and uh, get dressed and uh, start filming. All right, it's five o'clock. I recorded my video, uploaded my video. Um, and uh, I, I'm tired, so I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a coffee. It's dark outside because winter. And look, look at the bean. See him? And you also see the Christmas tree. <laughs> so pretty, so pretty. I don't know when I'm gonna take it down. This is my first year having trees, so I'm probably gonna leave it up like all year, who cares? Well, we're so tired from being at the park all that time. Aren't you tired? But you had fun, didn't you, even though it was nine degrees? <laughs> well, actually, I'll, to be fair to him, it was like 14 degrees. I know there are a lot of dogs that get really cold really quickly, and I was, I thought, you know, he was gonna be one of those dogs, but he, he didn't care. 
When he is cold, he will shiver and everything like that, but he seems really warm in his coat and his boots and he just wants to play the ball, so I'm just like, I don't know, okay, do whatever. Anyway, before I start making dinner, I just want to tackle his clover's drawer because let, let me show you what happened over the holiday. Oh my gosh. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no! So it's a disaster. So we are going to tackle this. He got like all these treats and presents over Christmas and it's, I, 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 I can't with this. So I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and we're going to fix this up. Oh, and check out the mug my husband got for me for Christmas. Yes. If you guys play Pokemon Go, you know who Trainer Tips is. The one and only Nick. I'm very really happy. These are gifts that mean a lot to me because I like supporting uh, other YouTube creators and especially ones who I think put out really nice, good content. Um, so Nick from Trainer Tips is one of my favorite uh, YouTube creators. So I'm very, very excited to have this Trainer Tips mug. Yay! What are you doing? Let's organize this. Let's do it together. I can give you some treats, okay? Okay? Look at this. This is from my niece and nephews. My, my nieces and nephews, how cute is that? Clover, and it's got little treats in here. We'll give him a little piece. Look at him, he wants it so bad. All right, little buddy, let me break off a little piece for you. It's almost your dinner time. Probably shouldn't be eating this much treats, but it's okay. Hey buddy, you want this? Here you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. This is so much better now. I feel so much less stressed, even though it looks a little bit crazy. It is crazy because of all of the treats, but at least they're all sort of contained. <laughs> so you get like food action over here, treat stuff. This is like, I just put everything in a plastic bag because I was like, it just, it's crazy. And also, what? Why do we have so many of these cod skips? You know, I think because when we go to Polka Dog, they just give us these bags of cod skins and I'm like oh thanks and I don't realize that we have like 80,000 so luckily they last for a long time and he loves these so I'm just gonna keep giving them out and he's got like some liver treats that uh, my friend Sarah gave him <laughs> so cute and I put all of his um, Kong treats and his snood for eating messy stuff in there so that's like treat eating so many treats oh my gosh for his birthday he got those he's still not done with those yet his peanut butter is back here and a little spot for his medications which i need to buy some more of treats are in here as well and chicken treats. gosh this dog has so many treats and food he has a lot of treats because his father spoils him just a little bit but that's okay clover right right <laughs> his father definitely spoils him he loves he loves the clobean and loves to buy him treats so we don't actually give him a lot of treats well I, I don't allow him to have a lot of treats um, just because I don't want him to be a little fat cavalier so he's gonna be you know he's very active so he has treats every day but just not I mean look at what he's got he's I mean he's got a lot of, this is the food the rest of it is treats so it's kind of crazy but he is a little happy Spoiled Cavalier, aren't you, Clover? Yes, you are, and you're so cute. Does that feel good? Is that a good spot to scratch right there? Yes, I think it is. I think I found the good spot. <laughs> I did take some stuff out of here, um, like the um, the water bottle and stuff. I put it in his regular like like spot where his coats are. These are all his coats. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. We got him a snowsuit. Look at it. Look at the snowsuit. <laughs> it's got a little like neck 
and it goes over the legs, front legs and the back legs. And of course it has a little opening where they can go to the bathroom, but it's a snowsuit. So now when he goes in the full snow, he's not gonna get all those like ice balls on his chest, which was what we found when we took him to Maine. He got so many of those like ice balls and snowballs on his chest and on, his, on the inside of his legs. And it took me like 30 minutes to melt them and get them all off. So, um, and he got really cold because of them and they were super heavy. So now he's got this full dog snowsuit and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, this was not the cheapest thing in the world. This was like 70 bucks, but it fits him perfectly. It's like really good quality. It's like really nicely quilted. I think there's like, I don't know, it's down or something inside. Anyway, Dog Helios Outdoor Company. This thing, this thing is bomb. And uh, I can't wait to put it on him. It's actually so cute. I, we tried it on him just to make sure it fits I uh, so I wouldn't have to return it to Amazon. But um, it fits him perfectly. Anyway, that lives up on th with the rest of his coats in this little box in the coat closet. So I moved his water bottle in there too because that's just basically something I grab when I'm going out. And I grab his coats too, so why was that in there? I don't know. I was being crazy. And uh, there, coat closet still looking pretty neat. Put the boots in there for winter. Uh, also put the little clo bean boots in here for winter too. So uh, that's still nice and neat. All right, it's almost time to uh, make some dinner. I think my husband's coming home soon, so I should get started on that. And uh, I'm updating my website. I gotta get back on that grind. I really just wanna play The Sims. That's really all I wanna do, but it's January 2nd, so gotta keep on that work grind. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, stay neat. One, two, three.